What is pollination? By Bobby Kalman. Narrated by Lindsay Higby. What is pollen? Pollen is the yellow, white, or brown powder at the center of most flowers. Pollen is an important food for bees and some other animals. The bee on the left is covered in pollen. Bees collect pollen in pollen sacs. Pollen sac. An important part of flowers. Pollen is a very important part of many flowers. It is the part of a flower that plants need to make fruit, seeds, and new plants. To make new plants, pollen has to move from one flower part to another of the same kind of flower. Most flowers need pollinators to move their pollen. Pollinators are animals such as bees, wasps, butterflies, and other small animals that visit flowers. This beetle has pollen all over its body. When it goes to another flower of the same kind, it will leave pollen on that flower. The flower will then be able to make seeds. What is pollination? Some flowers have male and female parts. The stamen is the male part of the plant that makes pollen. Some flowers have one stamen, and others have many. The pistil is the female part of the flower. It is made up of the style, stigma, and ovary. The stigma is the top part. It receives the pollen. The style is the pollen tube. The pollen travels down through the style to the ovary. The ovary contains ovules. Petal, stigma, stamen, style, ovule, ovary. How a plant grows. When pollen moves from a stamen to a stigma, pollination has taken place. After a flower is pollinated, its petals fall off. The ovaries of the flowers become fruit, and the ovules become seeds. The fruit of a plant can be a vegetable or nut, as well as fruit. The fruit of the bean plant below are the bean pods. The seeds are the beans inside the pods. Bees are pollinating the flowers of a bean plant. After pollination, the ovaries of the flowers become bean pods. The beans inside are the seeds that can make new plants. Bean pods. Beans. Types of pollination. Flowers cannot make seeds unless they are pollinated. There are three main types of pollination. Cross-pollination, self-pollination, and wind pollination. In cross-pollination, flowers need pollen from other flowers of the same species or type to land on their pistils. Animals such as insects and birds carry pollen from flower to flower. This bee is cross-pollinating. It is carrying pollen from one flower to another of the same kind. Self-pollination. During self-pollination, pollen moves from the stamen to the pistil of the same flower. Flowers that self-pollinate have male and female parts that are close together, so the pollen can move easily from the stamen to the pistil. Sunflowers can self-pollinate or be cross-pollinated. Wind pollination. Some flowers are pollinated by the wind. Wind sweeps pollen off those flowers and carries it to other flowers. 
wind-pollinated flowers have millions of tiny pollen grains. These flowers seldom have nectar. Ragweed flowers are wind-pollinated. Many people are very allergic to ragweed pollen. Shapes and Colors Most animals pollinate when they look for nectar. Nectar is a liquid found in many flowers. The bright colors and sweet smell of a flower tells pollinators that the flower contains nectar or pollen for them to eat. Flowers that are pollinated at night have very strong scents to make it easier for pollinators to find them. The Luna Moth is a beautiful nighttime pollinator. Orchids have special markings that guide insects to their nectar. A paper kite butterfly is pollinating an orchid. The Jack in the Pulpit plant does not smell sweet. In fact, it smells like dead meat. This plant attracts flies to pollinate it. Hummingbirds have long beaks and very long tongues. They are able to feed at flowers that are too deep or thin for other pollinators to reach. Do we need pollinators? Did you know that more than one-third of the food you eat depends on pollinators? Pollinators make plants healthier so they can make a lot of food. There are thousands of kinds of pollinators. Most vegetables, fruits, and nuts come from plants that were pollinated by insects, birds, bats, and other small animals. Cherries, apples, and pears. All these foods. The foods shown on this page and many more came from plants that were pollinated by insects and other animals. Blueberries, all kinds of nuts, raspberries, kiwi fruit, chocolate and hazelnuts, many kinds of vegetables. Insect pollinators. There are thousands of kinds of insects that pollinate plants. They belong to five main groups. Bees, wasps, butterflies and moths, flies, and beetles. Without these insects, we would not have many of the foods we eat. Bees. Wasps. Moth, butterfly, beetles, flies. Bees are best. There are thousands of kinds of bees, but the honeybee is the most important pollinator. Honeybees are social insects. Social insects live together in groups called colonies. Each bee colony lives in a hive, which is its home. Bees collect nectar and pollen from flowers. They pollinate many kinds of fruit trees as well as vegetable plants. They also make honey, which people eat. Bee on apple tree. Bumblebees. The bumblebee is another kind of bee pollinator. There are about 250 species of bumblebees. Bumblebees have big furry bodies. Like honeybees, these bees live in colonies of 150 to 200 bees. Bumblebees make their nests underground. The tongues of some bumblebees are short and others are long. 
The long-tongued bees are important pollinators of many plants, such as beans, tomatoes, and clover. Butterflies and moths Butterflies and moths have long proboscises, or mouthparts, which can reach the nectar and pollen inside flowers. Butterflies like bright pink, blue, and purple flowers. Some moths are good pollinators of flowers that bloom at night. They look for pale flowers with strong scents. The hummingbird moth can pollinate flowers that are too thin and deep for other pollinators. Its long proboscis can reach the pollen deep inside them. Proboscis This butterfly has landed on a pink flower. It is using its long proboscis to sip the nectar. Its legs are covered with pollen. Proboscis Wasps and flies Wasps are mainly carnivores. Carnivores eat other animals. Wasps hunt small insects. Many insects live on plants. Wasps visit flowers to look for smaller insects that they can find there. They also drink flower nectar to give them the energy to hunt insects. While they hunt insects, wasps pollinate plants by carrying pollen on their bodies from flower to flower. Wasps also help nature by eating many insects that damage plants. Hoverfly Pretending to sting Flies are very important pollinators because there are so many of them. The most important fly pollinators are hoverflies and bee flies. But many other flies also visit flowers to feed on nectar. Hoverflies have yellow and black stripes, but they are not related to bees or wasps. The flies, which cannot sting, pretend to be stinging insects to keep other animals from eating them. Beetle Pollinators Beetles visit flowers for many reasons. Some eat the pollen and nectar in flowers, and some eat the whole flowers. Other beetles feed on the smaller insects that visit flowers. Smooth or hairy. Beetles that are smooth are not the best pollinators because pollen slides off their bodies. The best beetle pollinators are those with hairy bodies because the pollen sticks to their hairs as they travel from flower to flower. Above, ladybugs are beetles that feed on small pests, such as aphids. Aphids damage plants. Below, ladybugs also drink some nectar as a snack to give them energy.